What happens when you use the power of AI to merge animals together? Pure terror. That's what happens. Get ready. Hello, everybody. I'm Kyle Kid, and have you ever wondered what a dog and a pig would look like if they were combined together? Well, today, you're going to find out. Because that's precisely what I did. I used Microsoft Bing's Image Creator, which is an AI generator, to combine a dog and a pig. And it delivered in the worst way possible. You know, let's just... Here's the fun thing about uh, AI image generation, is that you can just put in the same exact prompt and get something completely different. So let's see what it does if I just run this prompt again. Prepare your eyes. Oh my gosh. You know, I mean, <laughs> this one is kind of cute. I, it kind of looks like my dog. Like this is the way that my dog stands. It's just got a, a pig snout. Now this, this is truly an abomination that should not exist. Why does the, why does the pig have that weird smirk on his face? You guys ever seen that cartoon? This was my era. Cat dog. It was a cat and a dog that were basically, you know, on opposite ends of a body. That's basically what this has given me vibes of. Dog pig. This one, though. I mean, that is really cute. That, that is a cute creature. I would adopt this thing. I would not. I'm sorry. You're... Yeah, no. Mm -mm. I like how he's hanging out on a farm with a bunch of horses. But there are so many other combinations we can do. Um, I'm just, I'm just gonna type in whatever pops into my head. Turtle. Wait. And kangaroo combined. So now I add, typically I add realistic at the end to give it just more like a, a, a real feel, even though it is obviously not real. Sometimes what it does if you don't do the realistic is it gives you like a drawing or like a cartoon, which is the only way these things should exist is in a cartoon format. So we'll see what happens. We didn't add realistic to this one. Ah! You look like a dinosaur. <laughs> I don't know why it cut off. It's the that thing is horrifying. It's like a Pokemon. We just created a new Pokemon. Why do you look like a rabbit? I mean, I guess you kind of do have like a turtle's face. <laughs> Jeez. What happens if we do realistic? I mean, it already kind of looks more real than I was expecting. But if we go full on realistic here, brace for impact, I guess. What have I created? It's... It's awful, especially this one. That is very upsetting. That is a Pokemon. Like, I feel like we've just invented an Armaru. That's what we're going to call it. Because, you know, he's got armor, but he's also a kangaroo. Armaru. This is his second level evolution. There's his third level. It's like a stinking dinosaur. Step aside, Charizard. There's a new dino in town. <laughs> He's half turtle, half kangaroo. We gotta do... Oh my gosh. We have to do something with an anteater. Anteaters are already weird looking, right? Is it just anteater? Is it like that? Uh, let's see what it does with just anteater. Because I feel like anteaters are already aliens. They're weird. They're cool, but they're weird. So what happens when we do anteater and... I'm thinking about all the different animals that I can combine with this thing, and they all seem delightfully terrifying. I actually, the first one was an ant, which is ironic, right? Because ant eaters eat ants. Let's just do it. Let's do it. Ant eater. Oh, no, 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 no. I did any ant eater and any combined. Oh, no. Microsoft Bing's going to be very confused about this one. <laughs> what? All right, nothing like a little typo to bring out the the party. Why why did it did it think any is party? I don't know. Let's try that again. Ant eater and ant combined. Ha! Oh, oh my gosh. Oh no, no. No. No, that is making me feel very uncomfortable. What? Oh gosh. 
Oh, okay. Like, this is freaky because there's, like, ants, like, coming out of this thing's body. But the next one. Oh, why? Why? Oh, look at his weird feet. Oh, it's making me want to throw up. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> it's got like the, the cur the like, it's got like a scorpion tail. Oh. Oh, oh, I can't. I can't. Oh, that's making me feel so gross. I hate this thing. I hate it so much. Why did I do this? Here was the other one that I was thinking. Dolphin. Ant eater and dolphin. Let's get get this erased from my memory. They got that MIB thing. You know, the little button thing that pops up. They put it in the people's face and then they forget everything that they just saw. I need that for that weird ant eater ant. Oh, gosh. Make it go away. Please. Give me something cute. <laughs> Where did the cheetah come from? <laughs> this is majestic. <laughs> I can't. What? Why? <laughs> Where where did the cheetah come from? Oh my gosh, that's incredible. And then this. This is the best one. This is the best one. He's just like, ooh, I'm flying. I, I can fly and swim at the same time. I'm having a great time. Only problem is there's no ants around here. I'm very hungry. You still, you have like cheetah print though. I don't know where the cheetah part of this whole thing came into play, but I like it. Gosh, that is cursed yeah it turns out ant eaters they're, they're great to combine with other creatures but let's let's find a new animal to ruin our days with how about an octopus octopus and you guys are gonna love this one eagle ha huh. i mean it's kind of cool but it's also kind of not like i oh gosh this one it has the octopus eyes but the eagle's head coming out of the it's like a horn it's like a it's got an eagle's head for a horn it's kind of cool looking but now here's the here's what i was talking about it, they're all like illustrations right this is like some secret society's emblem this is their mascot the octa eagle that's horrifying but let's add realistic to make it even more horrifying probably Oh, okay. Th I mean, these two is just an eagle attacking an octopus. <laughs> what happened? These look like statues. They look like uh, like an, uh, some kind of exhibit at Disneyland or something. The, yeah, the, these just look like an eagle and an octopus hanging out. Now this, okay, not really getting combined vibes here. It just looks kind of like the eagle ate the octopus's head and is now sitting on tentacles i don't know that okay yeah that that's definitely getting there he's kind of like uh he, he's giving me uh davy jones vibes right from from uh pirates of the caribbean you know the he's got like the tentacle beard he's like that's what he sounds like those are the things that he says for sure I want to run this one again. Can we get closer to what I imagine? I mean, the lower right one is definitely what I was looking for. It is weird that when we add realistic to the prompt, it makes them look like like plastic sort of statues. It's so strange. Okay, yeah. <laughs> That's unbelievably grotesque. I hate it. <laughs> So majestic. Could you imagine how many fish he could catch? Dude, this eagle would be the, the ultimate predator. Hate it, but love it at the same time. And then you're just an eagle sitting on top of an octopus. Although it is kind of freaky that your your claw is like inside of the octopus. Why? Ugh. Either way, very upsetting. I'm glad we could experience that together. We should do another octopus one though. Should we combine it with another ocean creature? Dude, octopus shark. You gotta try. They both live in the ocean. We're keeping things underwater, aquatic. Oh my gosh, that is nuts. Holy cow, that is so freaky. That 
very upsetting. I do like that it's got like multicolor because octopus, they can they can change their color, right? They can blend in with their environment. That would be a crazy superpower if a shark had that. I hate that. Your whole face is just tentacles, but it's also kind of cool. This is crazy. <laughs> that is so upsetting. What happened to your fins? Oh, uh, they became an octopus tentacles. Let's try realistic. That did not work at all. It just put an octopus and a shark in the same shot. Yeah. That, that, that shark's just sitting on top of an octopus. It's like, I just, I just need to rest on top of this island. And the octopus is like, this island is my head. It's very rude. Oh, there we go. Okay, I don't know why the first time we did that, it didn't do what I wanted it to. But this time it did. That I, Although I hate what's happening here. Why do you got an eyeball down there? What What is happening? Stop. Again, I'm not sure what happened there. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. You got like a weird teeth beard going on. And then you've got like coral coming out of your side. Gosh, so weird. How about combining like predator and prey? How about like a snake and mouse? Snakes, they eat mice. Mice, they run away from snakes. But what if they were one and the same? Oh, what? It, it's a Pokemon again. We're making Pokemon. That thing is awesome looking. Why are you so strong? You look so buff. Dude's been lifting. You, uh, what? What? It's like a, it's a, it's like a rat tail donut. Oh, don't know. How many legs do you have? You have five legs. Why? Let's add realistic. See what happens. Hey, oh, <laughs> the tongue, the tongue. Oh, wow. That is crazy looking. I don't know why realistic in Bing's image creator makes things look like they're made out of plastic. It's so weird that, okay, that <sighs> I don't like the transition from the mouse fur to snake scales. <laughs> just weird that's pretty good kind of you know i'm kind of getting like armadillo vibes are armadillo actually snake mice <laughs> no, no. what happened to you what am i looking at i don't like it especially this one what happened like look at his leg oh no stop what if we combine an elephant and a mouse right because there's always that like that that trope that like elephants are scared of mice which I'm pretty sure is absolutely untrue. Like, why would an elephant care about a mouse? Maybe, maybe they are scared of mice, but if you combine them together, they sure do make a weird kind of cute creature. Why is you, your tail is a mouse? Don't do that. Don't do that. This one, that's adorable. And I like to think that this is the size of a mouse. Like I could hold it in my palm. Just look. He's like, oh, oh. Oh, good boy. Oh, you're so cute. I like it. A little bit more realistic here, but these are all illustrations. So let's try realistic. It's like an abomination roulette. You never know what you're going to get. And it might make you throw up. That I'm straight up with you. That ant eater ant combination really made me feel sick. It was that weird. That just looks like a bunch of elephants. Although this one, it's pretty good. It's got the mouse tail and it definitely has some more mouse-ish features. Like the, the ears are looking more like a mouse's than a elephant's. But what I'm kind of getting out of all this is that mice and elephants almost combine too well. You can barely tell. So let's take an elephant and a koala <laughs> and put them together. Shall we? Very cute. Looks kind of like a Hallmark card, especially this one. Just an elephant and a koala standing next to each other. Chibi style. We got to add realistic. Oh. Oh, the oh, the nose. So it's trying to add in the koala's like big black nose while keeping the elephant's trunk. This thing is in full sprint, by the way. I don't know what happened here. He's just like chilling on a branch. <laughs> I love the idea of an elephant climbing through a tree. Actually, that gave me a new idea. That is so weird. Instead of a koala, 
What if we do a monkey? Elephant and monkey combined. If AI has a sense of humor, it's gonna set it up so that the trunk is like hanging from a tree. It didn't. <laughs> it just looks like a woolly mammoth. <laughs> How dare you? You're supposed to be swinging through a tree. I love this one. He's so cute. Kind of looks like something out of Dr. Seuss. Horton hears a who. Horton hears a who. Horton hears a who. It's Horton. This guy, though. Yikes. He definitely got, like, the monkey features on the face. It's just... It's weird. Oh! I went for it again. And, uh, this time, I don't know if it's better or worse or a little bit of both. <laughs> What is with the weird circle tails? You are so strong. You're more... It feels more like this is a combination with a gorilla. Oh my gosh. What am I doing? And I wonder if it matters with the order. Like, if I swapped gorilla and elephant, will it have more dominant gorilla features and less elephant features? Like, how does the AI interpret the order of things? I don't know. There's a lot to think about. But what I do know is that what we are creating is terrifying. <laughs> dude. I would not want to meet this dude in a jungle. That is a silverback with a with an elephant's trunk. That is so cool looking. This guy has great hair, by the way. Just beautiful. It's glowing. Absolutely luscious locks. Let me just put that theory to test. Gorilla and elephant combined so will it look more gorilla-esque no not really it didn't really change all that much although this i i see what it's going for here it's got like the gorilla arms and like the wrinkly gorilla face but then the rest is all elephant that is just wild it, this is crazy ai image generation is terrifying and delightful i i get it's like a rabbit hole you 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 just you dive in and you just keep going you keep thinking of weird things to do so what else are we cooking up i'm combining an ostrich and a sloth together and i am concerned with what is about to be presented to us what it just looks like a lazy ostrich it's an ostrich that's about to fall asleep it's very cute i love that attitude don't talk to me. I just woke up. That's good. That's actually really good. It looks like a Pixar animation. Okay, let's add realistic. What? What did I create? You got three legs. Just weird. You kind of look like an emu. Because you got, you're like furry. That's pretty good. It looks more ostrich. It just looks like a hairy ostrich. Okay, I feel like we're getting closer. <laughs> I don't know what happened here. It looks like one of those like dinosaurs. Like a like a raptor. I gotta try again. Let's give it another go. Oh no. <laughs> no. No, no, no. <laughs> You're an ostrich with just unbelievable hair. How do you keep it so well kept? How do you brush your hair? You got no hands. Maybe you do. Because you're, you're part sloth, you know? And you just grab your comb. Just very slowly and gently brush your hair. I hate that. That's just, you've got a, a sloth tumor growing out of the side of your face. Same thing. It happened again. I have to run it back. I, I have to. Let's, you know what? Let's swap sloth and ostrich. Will it matter? Probably not. But we gotta try. Yeah. 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 Yeah, I think we got it. I think we kind of got it here. You look like a... A sloth... Sloth... Rich. Sloth rich. I don't know why you're just a floating head. It's weird. You kind of look like a, a kidney bean. If a sloth and a kidney bean were combined... <laughs> you're a chocobo. You're just a chocobo from Final Fantasy. How did you get here? Is that what, is that how they created the chocobo? They were like, what would an ostrich and a sloth look like together? And then the chocobo was born. You're a duck. No, I don't know what you are, but I love that you have like a little baby 
sloth ostrich poking out of your shoulder. It's like in a pouch. The sloth ostrich has a pouch for its babies, like a kangaroo. It's weird. And all the animals that we created today are weird. And if you guys have ideas for things that you want me to try in the AI image generator, let me know, because there's a lot of things you can do with this. And it's always a good time.